let's talk about me going viral, well kind of, the content you guys want to see on my channel and of course we have to talk about Patrick Reed. Let's go. video. Well, kind of viral. I think it's had like 50k views now across all channels and completely unexpected. Here's a clip. The swing went left, I shouted for him, yeah. played my ball Me from the seashore, singing. the ball. That's why it's so unexpected. Hold, I couldn't get the original sea shanty song out of my head so I thought I have to write a golf version. It was so well received by you guys and I can't thank you enough because completely out of my comfort zone but yeah I'm delighted with the messages that I've had from it and who knows maybe I'll create more. But as I mentioned this is not the first time that I've went semi-viral. A picture a few years ago went viral on a number of pages of me and it is even more unusual than a golf sea shanty. Let me tell you a story. About five years ago I did a kind of throwback Thursday picture and I posted it to my own personal Instagram. I didn't, I didn't have that many followers at that point. Then I got a notification to say that Golf Babes, this huge page, had shared a picture of me. I obviously was like wow what a compliment, this is amazing. It's usually super attractive females, um, usually in bikinis, but yeah, usually good looking golf girls that are on this page and I thought, wow, what a compliment. Let's have a look and see what picture they picked. Well, this is the picture that they picked. Out of all the pictures of me on the golf course, swinging a golf club, they picked this one and I was a little bit hurt, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It obviously is a, um, my tan lines and yes, Scottish people do tan. It's a throwback to when I just finished playing college golf basically. So I'd been in the sun a lot and I'd been playing a lot of golf. So my sock tan line was pretty phenomenal. I think this gets shared by like Golf Bible and Lad Bible and all these other pages and I kept on seeing it pop up in places and people would tag me in the, the comments because obviously people weren't tagging me in the post. Wasn't that bothered about it because obviously I don't want people tagging me in pictures of my feet. Like I know it's a laugh but yeah. So I went viral for two things that aren't really golf related. Yes, my golf tan and another one is me singing a golf song a golf sea shanty. So I threw it out to my Instagram. I was like, guys, what do you wanna see on all my channels? What content do you guys wanna see more of? So I thought we would have a little read through them and I would basically just tell you guys if I thought it was a good idea, a bad idea, or if I was up for it. The first one's golf workouts and stretches. I'm not doing a lot of golf related stuff. I am trying to get back into my yoga. I can show you how like I stretch before I swing. I don't know if that'll be decent content, but you never know. Um, putting drills, I have so many putting drills. It's my favorite part of my game. It's the strongest part of my game. So definitely that is something I can do. More course vlogs. That is something that is coming. Um, I'm in talks with a few other golf courses across Scotland that want me to come and create content. So there will be loads more golf vlogs coming. More sea shanties. Ugh, I kind of thought that that would be the case. Um, I'm not a singer. I think I'm a one hit wonder. Who knows, I can maybe do like a master special one since it's the first major of the year or maybe I'll keep it until the Open Championship. If you guys want more sea shanties, I will give you more sea shanties. More Wilson stuff, I have the new D9 driver and the D9 three wood on its way. I'll tell you guys exactly what I think about it. I'll do a whole unboxing and head into the range video for that. CBD oil, I've been using CBD oil now for must be two months. I absolutely love it. But yeah, definitely I can do a little review and tell you my thoughts and feelings on that. You coming through mini tours. I don't 
play competitively anymore. I used to play for my bread and butter. I miss the competitive side of it, but I don't miss that being my full-time job. I obviously love creating content now and I work for a company and I run their social media. Of course, I'm more than happy to play the occasional event, show you guys behind the scenes and exactly what I go through when I do compete. Rach's risk reward drive of par fours threes mcqueen best par threes under 160 yards i love that you've already marketed it for me and given it a name that's brilliant um i'm a bit of a short ball though so i don't know about the drive of par fours i can definitely do like a risk reward kind of par fives i think the only par four that i've driven recently was the 17th at dumbarney but yeah i love that idea adidas giveaways Definitely that is something that's going to come on my channel. I can't wait to get all my kit, show you guys. Um, I'll do an unboxing for that as well. But definitely Adidas giveaways is a given. How about food reviews at each course? Now, I love my food. It is the quickest way to my heart is food. Absolutely love it. There are definitely clubhouses that are better than others and I would be up for this. If you guys wanna see me eat food on my channel at clubhouses, definitely, I'm up for it. You and Alona, closest to the pin and skills challenge. Definitely want to make more content with Alona. Um, she's one of my closest friends. We've already kind of been talking about what we wanna do. Right now we're just failing at trick shots. Um, on our social media channels. If you haven't already, check out both our TikToks. That's where we're posting a lot of that failed content. Practical tips from the range, definitely. Um, I think I'll maybe just bring you guys along to one of my range sessions. I'd like to say that I concentrate. I do obviously a few focus shots and I focus on the swing changes that I'm currently going through, but the rest of it is just me trying to hit driver as hard as I can and usually the failed trick shots that I was just talking about. I want to see you make the content you enjoy making. It keeps me more engaged. Well, that's just a really nice comment. Of course, I am trying this year to be more authentically myself across all my channels and I'm going to be making as much content as I possibly can. But yeah, lots of things to come. Sorry I couldn't read out every single person's comment but thank you for all the feedback. I'll be taking it all on board and I cannot wait to create some of those videos that you guys have requested for me. Now let's talk about what's been going on in the golfing world. Of course, this is something I don't really want to give a lot of airtime to, but everybody and anybody in the golf has been talking about Patrick Reed. He of course went on to win on the PGA Tour at the weekend, but it was completely overshadowed by his little rules mishap. It was all over social, everybody was talking about it, there was a few people that were definitely pro Reed and a lot of people that were against it. If what Patrick Reed had done wasn't upsetting or annoyed people or people felt as if it was against the rules and the integrity of the game, it wouldn't have made so much noise. But it did. Everybody was talking about it. Yes, he has done things in the past which are extremely questionable and that obviously goes against him. He's walked like a hawk and everything he does is looked at and a lot more scrutiny than other players. And that's all I want to say about it. You're welcome to make your own opinion on the Reed situation, but in my view, there is no smoke without fire. Well, that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, you wanna see more videos like this, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Also hit that thumbs up button and hit subscribe so you don't miss any more in the future. Thanks for watching.